I want to talk about the views of having babies from the man's perspective and the rights each have or don't have. Yeah. I want to show you this news clip and then we're going to come back and talk about it, y'all. Well, these boxes in the Safe Haven hotline have helped Hoosier moms in need surrender dozens of newborns since this program started three years ago. Now, these are boxes under the Safe Haven law that allow a mother in crisis to anonymously surrender her unharmed, unwanted newborn. They're usually at fire stations or hospitals. The baby must be 30 days old or younger. The boxes are like incubators with heating and cooling features. And an alarm notifies 911 as soon as a baby is placed inside so that first responders can take the child to the hospital. If a man abandons his child with the mom, eventually he will be in severe debt and or go to jail. But a woman can go to a firehouse, dump her baby in there with nobody's consent, not even the father's, and walk away, not give her name, not give no information, and just walk away from that baby. I got a problem with that. What do you think, KJ? The concept of it I think it depends on what you're asking. Like the concept of it, I think is genius because you know, the way they got the first responder box set up to it, this, that, and the other, what the first thing popped in my head is I can see babies who may have problems being the first ones to put in there. Babies that might've had down syndromes or yeah. something like that. And so that would be sad that those babies would be abandoned because of the afflictions that maybe. So that's the first thing popped in my head. Like that would be sad. And we know what the alternative was uh hangers and alleys uh kids who probably killed themselves trying to do this shit themselves and, and blay it out a lot of men out here have babies that they didn't even know they had right because right. a lot of women will hide it because you know fuck that dude i'm gonna do this by myself i'm independent even though i get welfare social security child support and uh section eight and my but auntie, you know, right. yeah but that's a whole nother story let me not go there but you know my point is they're doing it without these men's consent which means a woman can go get pregnant hide the fact that she got pregnant from this dude give up the baby walk away anonymously and that dude will never know ah hey i gonna say this that is one of the dichotomies of the system that men's rights are basically determined by how far the women allow the rights to go so i i, I understand that what i will say i think is the most messed up part about that is if you were having if you thought you was about to have a baby with a man that you couldn't even tell you was pregnant then maybe y'all sitting even looking around. Like if I can't, if if the woman can't even, can't even tell me that she's pregnant with my child, that speaks volumes of the type of relationship we must have even yeah. had. And yeah. so if it was just some like one night stand at the end of the bar, you don't know this nigga. He was a rapper and he done left town and everything else. I could see them putting that baby in the box as opposed to trying to raise a baby that you didn't probably want either. I think it's a good program for the most part. The only the only fault. I see in this program is that before this woman takes this child and puts it in the box, nobody's looking for the father, right? Nobody. But if a mother dies or if a father owes child support, they find his ass real quick. I agree a hundred percent. Like, I think that's really who found bin Laden, the child support people. I don't think the army found him. I think bin Laden got found by child support, <laughs> but, uh, but, 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 but I agree. I think, I think what it's going to lead to is, and this is just my futuristic writing on the wall. I think this is going to lead to them trying to have the push for getting chips and DNA and people went from birth. Yeah. Because now the only way I will be able to know that that's my child and put in that box is yeah. if they can take some sort of blood genome type and match it to somebody. A lot of times when they pass laws and they do these things for the greater good of the woman, they don't consider the effects of the men. I totally agree with you. Um, I just, I'm just saying with the nature of this program, I think they're looking at moms that are probably, and I'm just hoping I don't get canceled for this, but I'm going to keep it real. Moms that are probably teenagers that are probably pressured that can't bring the baby home. Then in parts of Indiana, that's still that super Bible belt um, area where you're getting shunned for whatever. Yeah. Then you got everybody that's peeled out, drugged out, this, that, and the other. I think their <laughs> rationale is, let me get this baby away from this toxic environment that it's probably yeah. being born in to save it. And we'll deal with who got rights and whatever as that come but, along. But here's the thing. They end up in foster care. True that. Right? Before they get adopted, all kids go to foster care. Right. And based on statistics, there has been millions of children missing who were in foster care. Be sure to follow Coffee Time Comedy on Instagram for all the latest videos.